All right, TJs, let's talk about backpacks today. I have struggled to find a decent backpack at an affordable price. So first up, we have the High Sierra Green Backpack, which is not a DJ backpack. It does have a spot for your laptop. You know, a 13 inch one. Otherwise, you gotta put it in the main backpack. So, no, don't want that one. Hey, what was that? Altoids. Forgot those were in there. So I ditched the Hiker Backpack for this Kayer Solvia book bag anti-theft pack because I thought it looked cool. It looked like you could fit a lot of stuff in it. Uh, they said it was made for photographers, so it had a laptop sleeve. And this has been my daily driver for a few years until I had a reason to start looking for a new one. All right, so it didn't hold up that well, I guess a year and a half uh, you decide whether you think a year and a half is long enough for a $40 backpack. So it has a sleeve for a laptop. It's pretty easy to get in and out, 15 inch, no bigger than that, uh, because that's pretty tight. Everything else is pretty well just tossed in here, but the neat thing about this backpack is that you can open it up all the way. Now, it has these little pouches here, for various items, earplugs. I keep my SSD in there. I keep my little DR40. Everything else though, there's no real pouches. There's my backup hard drive just tossed in there. Here's some USB drives. Here's my headphones. Oh, by the way, you can't fit big headphones in there. Your headphones have to fold pretty well flat in order to fit them in there. Cables just kind of tossed in here. Uh, so here's the big gimmick with this backpack. It's for travelers. You unzip it right here and you're able to put your chargers, your battery pack in here. You just plug it in and then you can boop, boop, boop. stick that in there, zip it up and you're able to plug in your phone from the outside. Okay, that's not useful for me. That's cool. If I was traveling in the airport a lot, that would be cool. It's nice having that little zipper bag for my chargers. Let's see everything that I was able to fit in this tiny bag. All right. Feels like there's something in there. A oh, couple headphone adapters. All right, so that's pretty much empty. All right, so nope, done with that. So this is what I was able to fit in this backpack, which is quite a bit for how small a form factor this bag is. It's super tiny. And that's something I loved about this backpack is it's, it's just itty bitty and it's easy to throw on your back. It's easy to slip down between seats. It's easy to go underneath your your legs underneath the seat if you're traveling. It's perfect for travel. It's a great carry-on bag. I love this bag. I hate this part. This, this, this is, mm, that made me so mad. Then I was looking at this Namba bag. Fits a 17, yeah, 17 inch laptop. This is a 15 inch, so there's plenty of room for 17 inch. And it's got lots of cubby holes. Coworker of mine let me have it because the zipper was broken. There's tons of space in here. I just never fixed the zipper. I never really took advantage of this bag. Really don't have a lot to say about it. Very sturdy bag other than the zippers. He had a luggage company fix the zipper and then it broke again, so he was just fed up with it. Can't complain about something I really didn't use. Seems like a good bag. You can definitely fit a second laptop in there for sure. Maybe even a third if... So you got some options. Honestly, I should fix the zipper and try it out. But it's in great shape, used, as opposed to this bag I bought last year that is used for a year and... Why? I really shouldn't pick on them that much. I mean, a year out of a 
$40 backpack is, is pretty good. Not my daily driver anymore. I'm done being silly. See ya.